1800 hours Pakistan's standard time Assalamu alaikum this is Radio Pakistan the news read by Humayun Zebabasi First the headlines Prime Minister has expressed the resolve to work closely with Saudi Arabia to enhance and strengthen bilateral relations Raja Pervez Ashraf of Pakistan People's Party was sworn in as speaker of the National Assembly today National Assembly today passed a resolution strongly condemning the violence against Deputy Speaker Punjab Assembly. Pakistan has strongly condemned Indian occupation forces' relentless killing spree resulting in martyrdom of four more Kashmiri youth in Shopaya district of illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Saudi Arabia and China have agreed to exert more efforts to enhance partnership and bilateral strategic relations. Moscow has banned entry of British Prime Minister and other senior ministers into Russia. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif and Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman have agreed to work together to further augment and diversify the bilateral ties in all affairs, particularly in trade investment and employment generation opportunities. The agreement came during telephonic conversation between the two leaders. The Saudi Crown Prince telephoned Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif and warmly congratulated him on his election as the Prime Minister of Pakistan. The Prime Minister thanked the Crown Prince for the felicitations and expressed his resolve to work closely with Saudi Arabia to enhance and further strengthen bilateral relations between the two countries. Raza Pervez Ashraf, MNA of Pakistan People's Party, has taken oath as Speaker of National Assembly. Presiding Officer Sardar Riyaz Sadiq administered the oath to him. He was elected unopposed as Speaker of National Assembly after no other candidate filed nomination papers for the seat. In his opening remarks, after taking oath, Speaker Raja Parvez Ashraf thanked all the parliamentary leaders and members of the lower house for expressing confidence in him. He said he will act in an impartial manner. Talking to the floor, Prime Minister Shahbaz Ashraf felicitated Raja Parvez Ashraf on assuming the office of Speaker. He was Confident that Raja Pradesh Ashraf would take the whole house along with the discharge his responsibilities to the best of his abilities as per the law and constitutions. The House today passed a motion authorizing the Speaker to constitute a parliamentary committee for electoral reforms in order to ensure free, fair, and transparent elections. The motion moved by Murza Javed Abbasi said the committee will present his report within three months from the day of its notification. The National Assembly today passed a resolution strongly condemning the physical and verbal attack on Punjab Assembly's Deputy Speaker Dos Mohammad Mazari by the PTI and PMLQ members to sabotage the process of election of Punjab Chief Minister. The resolution moved by Shanza Fatima voiced concerns over the security of the members of Punjab Assembly and blatant violation of the Constitution. It urged that law and order be restored and the process of election of Chief Minister be completed. The resolution also demanded that those responsible for the incident to be dealt with according to law in order to prevent such actions in future. Prime Minister Shabash Sharif has condemned in strongest terms the attack on Deputy Speaker Punjab Assembly Dost Mohammad Mazari by PT and PMLQ and PAs inside Punjab Assembly. In a tweet today, the Prime Minister said this blood and display of violence and hooliganism is fascism. Shabash Sharif said Imran Khan's desperation and incitement to violence is repressing our society. The proceeding of Punjab Assembly came to halt when Deputy Speaker Sadar Dost Mohammad Mazari was thrashed and escorted out of the House. Soon after beginning of session, members of PTI and PMLQ encircled the Deputy Speaker and raised slogans against him. Today's agenda includes election of a chief new chief minister. Hamza Shabazz is the candidate of PMLN and allied parties, while Chaudhry Pavez Ilahi has been defeated by PTI and PMLQ. Meanwhile, voting for election of Punjab Chief Minister has started after resumption of proceedings of the House. Listeners, this is Radio Pakistan. Pakistan is strongly condemned Indian occupation forces, relentless killing spree resulting in martyrdom of four more Kashmiri youth during it this week in a stage caught in search operation in Shopayan district of the legally occupied Chaman Kashmir. In a statement, Islamabad Today Foreign Office spokesperson Asim Takhar said more than 576 innocent Kashmiri have so far been martyred by Indian occupation forces since its illegal and unilateral actions of August 5, 2019. He said the pattern of ongoing atrocities in the illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, which have been intensified during the holy month of Ramazan, reflects India's 
despicable policy of terrorizing the population in a bid and perpetuate in systematic persecution of Kashmiris. Spokesperson said Pakistan reiterated its call for investigation of extrajudicial killings in the illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir by the Commission of Inquiry as recommended by the Office of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights in its Kashmir reports by 2018 and 2019. He also called upon the international community to play its due role for peaceful and just resolution of Jammu and Kashmir dispute in accordance with the relevant UN Security Council resolutions and the wishes of the Kashmiri people. In Indian legally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Modi-led fascist Indian government is deploying 40,000 more troops and parliamentary personnel to suppress the Kashmiri's ongoing freedom movement. The Modi regime is making deployment of these personnel in the name of security measures for the annual Hindu pilgrimage, Ananath Yatra, which is scheduled to commence on June 30th this year. Meanwhile, the all-party Zulayat conference leaders in their statements have expressed serious concern over the deployment of more troops by New Delhi in illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. They said the Kashmiri is already the most militarized zone of the world where Indian troops have made the life of the Kashmiris at hell. Meanwhile, Indian troops launched a massive search operation at Watnar in Kurgan's area of Baslama district today. Earlier, an Indian soldier was killed in an attack in the area. Another incident. Unidentified gunman shot dead as part at the Ghosh Burg in Patan area of Baramula district. Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif has condemned raid on Al-Aqsa Mosque by Israel and retreated to Pakistan's solidarity with Palestinians. In a tweet today, he said, Escalation of violence by Israel is gross violation of human rights and humanitarian laws. The Prime Minister urged the national community to protect innocent Palestinian lives and uphold the national law and UN Charter. Palestine has called for immediate intervention of international community in order to stop aggression against Al-Aqsa Mosque and prevent the situation from spiraling out of control. In a statement, Nabil Abu Rudin, uh, the spokesman of the Palestinian president, said actions of the Israeli police which invaded the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Kibli interior prayer hall are equal to declaration of war against the Palestinians. He called on the international community to intervene the events at the Temple Mount in eastern Jerusalem before they spiral out of control. Meanwhile, Imam of Alexa Mosque, Ex Sabri, told a foreign news channel that the violence was provoked by Jewish settlers and supported by Israeli military and police. Saudi Arabia and China have agreed to exert more efforts to enhance partnership and bilateral strategic relations. The understanding to this effect came during a telephone call between Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and Chinese President Xi Jinping during the telephone conversation about that relation between the two countries and ways of developing them within the Saudi-Chinese Joint Committee were also discussed. Russia has formally warned the United States and other allied nations against supplying weapons to Ukraine. In a diplomatic note, the U.S. Russia warned the U.S. and NATO weapons shipments are adding fuel to the U conflict in Ukraine and luck could lead to unpredictable consequences. Moscow has also banned UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson and other senior ministers from entering Russia over the country's hostile stance on the war. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky says the world should be prepared for the possibility that Russia will target Ukraine with a nuclear strike. And finally, the weather report. Hot and dry is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. However, rain with wind and thunderstorm is likely at isolated places in northwestern Blochistan during evening and night hours. Once again, we look into the main headlines. Prime Minister has expressed the resolve to work closely with Saudi Arabia to enhance and strengthen bilateral relations. Raja Pervez Ashraf of Pakistan People's Party was sworn in as Speaker of the National Assembly. <music> National Assembly today passed a resolution strongly condemning the violence against Deputy Speaker Punjab Assembly. <music> Pakistan strongly condemned Indian occupation forces' relentless killing spree resulting in martyrdom of four more Kashmiri youth in Chopayan district of illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. <music> Saudi Arabia and China have agreed to exert more efforts to enhance partnership and bilateral strategic relations. And that is the end of the news. For more news analyses, you can always log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. You can also watch live video streaming for our bulletins, radio, facebook.com forward slash radio Pakistan news official.